conventional on yeah. this one. Yeah, this is a great guitar because it's kind of the closest you're going to get to a gem and a strat. You right. Know having a, uh, a baby. <laughs> yeah. And Steve's got two of these. One's shaped more like a Strat, and this is the kind of gem one. And Ivan has built these for him, I think, in the early 2000s. And when he wrote Candle Power and wanted to make the music video for it, this was the guitar that he plays in the performance video. And um, it's got, you know, it's got Fender Fat 50s pickups in it, because those were the pickups that were in the guitar Steve used to record it because it's just such a stratty vibe that he sure. wanted. Just strat, strat, fourth position, that's it. Yeah. Um, and the neck, the cool thing is that, you know, sometimes when you put single coil pickups in a guitar with 24 frets, the whole ensemble of the position of the pickups gets moved back. And they don't really sound, it doesn't sound like a strat. Yeah. And the great thing about this guitar is it's a very standard 21 fret pickups in the right kind of strat location. And because of that, it just it sounds like a great Strat. It's right. a really awesome sounding guitar that's very authentic. Um, and little spec things with this guitar. Um, I, when I refretted it with the fret wire that he likes, I re-radiused the fretboard to be a little flatter because I think it had, it had like a seven and a quarter inch radius, I think. And I think I flattened it to 12. I didn't quite go to 16, which is like wow. what the gems are. But it's so you um, pulled the frets, did the whole thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. And it's great because the longer we tour with this guitar, the fretboard just gets all grimy. <laughs> and uh, he loves playing it. It's, it's a really cool one. Okay, is the tone control hooked up on this one? It's hooked up on this one, okay. yeah. <laughs> I should mention these, these, this is cool. So Steve's previous tech that everyone's familiar with, Thomas. We all love Thomas. Um, he designed this cool thing a while back, which is paper binding clips. But you kind of bend them and contort them and put Velcro on them, and they become really great pick holders. Um, oh, just go on that. Amazon and buy, I think they're called C-Line paper binding clips. And I, I buy them, because you have to replace them. They get kind yeah. of worn out. But really? this is great, because Steve, you know, you get hot and sweaty on stage and you drop guitar picks. and. They're just there. So that's how you do it. That's how you do it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I never knew. Oh, speaking of things like that, yeah. what kind of picks do, uh, is he using in, in strings? Uh, strings, it's always Ernie Ball. You know, each guitar, I, sh I should clarify, Evo and Flo, the guitars we just saw, those are 9 to 42. Just totally standard pink pack that you could buy at any guitar store. Sure. And um, this guitar is 9 to 46. Uh, so the hybrid slinkies. Um, but the picks are, uh, there's two companies that make us picks. Dunlop makes us these really great, um, they're 1.14 millimeter, and they've got the uh, inviolate artwork on them. Yeah, cool. And um, he uses those 90% of the time. But when he plays the Hydra, he uses these really cool ones. I don't have any on me. But they're 1.5 millimeters thick. They're pretty, they're like poker chips. And those he likes because he's got to play the bass, you know. Right. So having a thinner pick, it's you know, it would get so chewed up. Yeah. So that was the pick he was using for a long time, and then he wanted to lighten it up a little. So Dunlop makes us these really great picks. Yeah. It's it's interesting that somebody like Vi, who is so well established and been doing this forever, is still evolving, still changing yeah. things. Like he picks loves to and, do that. Yeah. Yeah. Because he's interested. You yeah. know. Thank God. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, well that's very cool.